All right, welcome back to the Mets franchise. Here's the fourth game of this season. Uh, we'll be taking on the Cubs. Um, AJ Poop. Actually, let me go down here. Do I not have... Ooh. Hold on a minute. Let me go back. Do I not have my other pitchers? Hold on. Okay, Cody Sango is 89, but okay. Ooh, dang. Yeah, okay. Um, bring him up. Move to MLB. Yes, I do. Jose Brios. Move to MLB. Yes. Uh, get rid of. Uh... Mm. Why are you up here? Yeah, put you down. Yep, uh, here, not right here either, put you down, and there we go. Alright, hopefully I fixed it. Alright. Sorry, my water's in the way. Left-handed, all right. Uh, third, fourth. Center field, no. Joey Gallo, as usual. I'm keeping him in the outfield. Mm, from right. Lane Thomas, you go center. Who's this guy? What's your stats? Nah. All right, I'm going to put you at second. I mean, is it first, second? You're gonna be fourth. Fifth. No, no, no. Endure fifth. You fourth. And you third. Alright. Yeah, looks about right. I put the Brian Hayes higher up in the lineup because he hits lefties really well. If he actually performed the way his numbers would act like. Seaver Way, welcome to the home of the New York Mets. This is City Field. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. 3-0, that's the what Chicago I like to see. Cubs going up against the New York Mets. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. That guy in the crowd got... Yeah, I would say those are earmuffs, but when he turned around, he had a speaker, so he's got a headset on for some reason. Just about set to go now showing the slab in today's game AJ Puck and he comes in off a really nice season on the hill Chris going to slab last year so consistent so dependable Talk about a skipper who's got a guy like that that's going to go out there and not just keep him in the ball game but really give them an opportunity to win All right. game. legend legend even if it's a All right, let's go. day for the offense that's who he was last season, and if he's nice. even close to that this year, I think they'll be really happy with his performance. And a foul ball. All right. High fastball, 99. And here it comes. No. That misses Ooh. the zone. Ball one. It's a good take. One ball. Two strikes. Slurve down. Strikeout. Swing and a bouncer. Now the throw it's to the first out Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. In half, up nah, to I hit. doubt it. A switch hitter batting right. All right. Pass ball outside corner. Towards first, and he picks Ooh, it up and he'll try. put it in his pocket. Half a switch hitter. It can be challenging for guys at the big league level to maintain a good swing from Inside both sides. Low pass ball. Clearly, he's got more pop from the left. A little side higher than I wanted. A little more in the right side. A little more well. toward the middle than I wanted, but good enough. Down, Strike out. And of course, drive, and, that be extra and he's barely not going to catch Around it because, first, of course. For and he's in with a stand up double. 
Everything came together for him. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. And up next for Chicago, right. Seiya Suzuki. Well, that was lower than I wanted again. Ooh, foul ball. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got Ooh, the scoring position. Really good player. 31 home run, power guy, 329. <gasps> what does stats look like? Ooh, dang, son. Pretty good hitter. Pretty good little player. One out and a runner All right. at second. Here in the this three game set. Too low. Pitches downstairs. Signed out of Japan. Got the back ball too soon at strike two. Yeah, come on, high fast ball is time. That's inside. Ooh. 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 Forcing fastball or slurs. Or at least when I play them. Max Kepler at the plate. Forcing fastball far away. Got a good eye there. Runner at second. Try it again. Right to indoor. Good. Over to first. And that is the inning. All right. for the Cubs. Now Hopefully the bats are a little more forgiving time. this time. No and by forgiving, I mean act as they the should. Back here Come on, with Jordan Singh. Wicks. And starting in this one, Jordan Wicks. What's the scouting report on him? Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out. And not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he right, gave his team is. an opportunity and a chance to win every time lefty, he took lefty. it down on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on nope. every ball club. Andres Come Jimenez on. now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Oh, and two now as he swings mm -hmm. through it. Two really He's good that one's in the zone He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Ooh, there we go. Land, baby. And there's a hit. Good, good. It's a hit. That's the way it should be. If you don't know, the last three games have been getting really screwy. The first one, I was just off on all my timing. I, I, that was just my bad. And then the second one, you absolutely mashed. And, or you got screwed at the very beginning. Kind of went a little more the way it should toward the end and then the last one man good goods were just out like you i just could not catch a break you try and steal why not oh yeah baby singy he definitely showed off the wheels there yeah, and it turned out to be a bang bang play. Statcast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't Ooh, possible. That was close. Let's see. How close was it? Nope, he ain't touching yet. Oh, he was out. Ooh, hoo, hoo. well, you know what? Given all of Lindor is barely getting all the times they well, bare, they just got safe somehow from Lindor's throws. That makes up for it. Second. Pitch misses outside. By the way, I I got a uh, today. I got a notification that I got a comment on a video, and then I looked on the video, and I didn't see the comment. The comment basically said that I got thrown out a lot. Leads off second with at a base out. during the, uh, I believe it was the Freedom final game the of the World Series video. 1-11, I believe it was. And I know I kind of do that a lot, but like I said, I'll, I'll tell you why. Usually why I do it is, I usually like, first off, I think it's more entertaining to like, ooh, is he going to make, ooh, is he not, more than just sitting there. 
But another reason why I do it is because, um, like I said, I don't know how to edit, so I only wait for, I have to make sure it's within an hour. So that kind of speeds it along a little bit. There are several times where I probably made just as many videos of me, like, playing an entire game, and then, like, not being at, ooh, is that a home run? Ooh, just barely not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, just like that. I got thrown out. But, uh, anyway, as I was saying, I would do that because... Okay, home run, okay. Cool. Not going to complain. But anyway, as I was saying, the reason I kept running to get out is because, A, I think it's more exciting. And B, if I do get out, it doesn't really do anything because I legit probably have as many videos that I failed because I finished it in like one hour and two minutes, one hour and three minutes, one hour and one minute, and I've just barely failed. So I have to try and make sure the games go a little quick. So like, like how it's going right now, if this happens every inning, I've had 15 to zero or 15 to 5 or something like that and couldn't use the footage because I I mean it ran out and I don't know how to edit so and I kind of think it's more cool if I just do it all at once because I just use the camp I just record it off my PS5 so if I throw out I do aggressive things like that because a who knows they might make a bad throw and make it a little more interesting but also kind of makes the game go a little faster because I really don't like it when I play the game. I have played like the same game three times in a row and has taken too long every single time. So that's why I do that. Um, I also like to swing the bat a lot because hey who knows maybe you might break a bat maybe it'll be something kind of interesting but that also helps the game go a little faster if I swing a lot more aggressively. So, yeah, I, I do swing kind of wildly because I'm trying to hurry up, especially if I'm hitting really well and then toward the end and it's like 57 minutes and, you know, 50 seconds or something. And you'll see me just swing it everything toward the end. That's because I'm trying to get it, you know, finished before it actually stops. So if you wonder why I keep getting thrown out, I like running aggressively, more entertaining, and it helps me keep the time going, so that's why I do that. Or you try and be a little sneaky like I was with uh, Yondi Diaz where I was going to third and then I tried going back. I try and be a little sneaky. Usually it doesn't work out, but... Like you Might as well try. Blue, the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name, that and uh, that's just part of being a professional player Dansby. and even a major league player. Dansby Swanson stands in. He was hitless in four at bats yesterday. Eh, that was kind of as right in the middle. Low in, the, low in the zone, but right in the middle. Kind of wanted to be out of the zone, but the oh well. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. That's great. Ooh, that was dangerous. Low. Here at the top of the second. That's down in. Got the discipline of the gods here. High fastball. Nope, foul again. Hit pitch. the outside. Back nope, then hit the inside. Well, out. that worked. I'm not going to complain. Glitter so outside corner. Nope, right down the middle. Gary Sanchez finally has his beard after he's off the Yankees. Right Yankees don't let beards for some reason. Fastball. Straight to Lindor. 16 speed. He's slow to pull this. And the Cubs go one, two, three. Cubs are down quietly. They trail it here, three nothing. 
All right, Gallo, let's see what you got. Bottom half of inning number two, Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Joey Gallo. What's he hitting now? Two twenty-two. All right. And first Ooh. offering is fouled off. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Book, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's always obvious what adjustments need oh, to be made. Come on. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being good, good. Dang it. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. Oh, he's going to need to figure it out quickly. Oh, yeah. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Yeah. It is frustrating. Oh well, it's all part of the game. I've gotten, I've gotten good hits and home runs on piss poor pitches, but then I've also like gotten screwed on perfect. Well, not pitches, but well, yeah. I've gotten home runs on good pitches that I was piss poor hitting on, and then I've also gotten out on piss poor pitches that I nailed. So, eh. Give and take. Stepping in, Francisco Alvarez. All right, come on, Alvarez. I know you got like 95 power versus righties and like what, 75 power on lefties. If I'm not mistaken, but I've always hit better with lefties with him for some reason. And first offering is fouled off. Hayes stands at 72. first with one out. Ooh. Third. Could be two. Nope. Off balance feed. There's one. Double play. And yep. that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and well, no one left. We oh well. Two full. It's the Mets three and the Cubs nothing. Mm -hmm. And catchers aren't the fastest. Back here in Queens, new inning getting started. Here's the third baseman, Christopher Morell. Morell. Pretty amazing Morell. athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal you bang and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? I like it when they make references to other players. Yeah, yeah, Bo Jackson did football, that too. That absolutely that smoked that baseball. What a swing. Sent it out way faster than it came in, of course. 113 off the bat, and no well, where you hit it at that speed, it's tough to make a play on. And now they've got well, some speed you don't know. I mean, AJ Puck really does have a, or AJ Puck, sorry. AJ Puck kind of has an arm. You don't know if it came off harder than it came in. Well, yeah, I guess they do if they have, you know, stat guns. Ooh. Well, to be fair, that one was a tough right play anyway. Can't complain too much if it's a play like that, because that was a tough double play anyway. But... Lindor could have had a better arm. Yeah, yeah. Again, he's out, though. He is out. What is going on with this game? He is absolutely out, 100%. Look at his foot. His foot's not even on there. Man. So the batting order okay. turns over. Oh, well. There's Nico Horner. Breaking ball Ooh, in there for a strike. Beautiful. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the whole Ooh, play. This guy's going to the strike zone. Yeah, let's so try it one more time. going to get a good pitch to hit. And oh, as nope. nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. High up fastball, high up fastball. First one away. Next one off Ooh, that was bad by me. Two and two. Try it again. Ooh. Swing and he breaks his back. Same and he's going to get saved, of course he is. Makes a play. From the time you're a little Why wouldn't later, you? you're taught to hustle Let's out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the okay. effort was there, and he earns the base hit. And now, Ian Happ. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Cubs made Ian Happ a first-round pick in 2015. All right, double play this time. Get it this time. There we go. No runs on two hits, no errors, and one man left. We move on yeah, this to game, the, the close plays on this game three. being very particular of late. 
There we go. Back here at City Field as we go to the last of the third. Here's the Mets leadoff man. Right, come on, Jimenez. Jimenez. And he deals. Ooh. That one is absolutely belted. That's good, back good. There. Pulls it in on the warning track. Drat. First pitch fastball, just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. So up next for New York, Lane Thomas. Oh, sure, we're him and low for ball one. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Ooh, there we go. Armstrong are you kidding me? Good, good, out. Okay, Man, that's, that's two good goods that are out. Mm-hmm. Not, not bad, good, good, because we all know there's a good, good, there's a good, 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 and then a bad, good, good. That was a both good, good, good. All right, come on, Diaz. The wind of the pitch. Ooh. Oh. Track. Two outs, bases empty. Come on, Diaz. And it's I'm going to swing it at pitch five really inches out of too high. Of course. Oh, okay. Right. Kepler sizes this one up, and that's the inning. All right, that kind of went a little far for how bad of a swing I did. Start of the fourth, and now the DH, Seiya Suzuki. All right, see, because that, that's kind of goofy as a DH, because he's not, like, the best fielder, but he's not bad. I mean, 74 speed, that's decent speed, and 81 arm, it's decent. He's not, like, piss-poor fielder, but, oh, well. Pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, here's a fun fact for you, Boog. Suzuki is the first Japanese-born player to home run. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And he makes the hmm. catch in the track. Just missed a homer that time. Didn't go to the same. First Japanese player to hit a home run. Something. All that ground and bring in that sinking liner. That's the way it had to be done. Nice job. Now batting Max All right, Kepler. Yeah, my Over almost home so run that Jimenez got was not that hard hit. Kepler in his ninth season, 32 years oh. old, and he was born in Germany. The Mets leading by three. Top half well, of inning number four. Not very four. many German MLB players. He's the only MLB player from Germany, right? I'm not mistaken. The only one I can think of. After the called strike on the corner, just a little bit off. Oh, oh yeah, boy. Fastball up in the zone. Pete Crow Armstrong, the next Cub to hit. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Whose last name is Crow Armstrong? It always sounds like it's like his first name's Pete, then his middle name is Crow, and then his last name is Armstrong. Like Pete Crow Armstrong, not Pete, whatever his middle name is, Crow Armstrong. Crow Armstrong is just one last name. And he's... Yeah, there is 99 speed and a fifth hitter. Hit. What's his stats? What's his power Cuts stats? Corner, it's put him in, because even if you have lots of power have really good day and were a good hitter, you'd still think they'd put you like, now he you know, his bat. And do it. 99 uh, speed, 99 power. They would still put you at lead off, you'd think. But they put him in fifth, so he must be like a freakishly good hitter. Still down 3 nothing. I haven't watched baseball in a while. I wonder what his stats are in the game. I'll have to look next time he's there. So now here's the Mets DH. Jorge Soler. Oh, come on, Soler. On the ground, oh, ground up. Fires over to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Now that's your time. Now up to hit. Francisco all Lindor. Right, Lindor. Come on, what you got? More. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start Ooh. at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Ooh. 
complete player. So sorry from the arm strength. Ooh, that was a little close. Mon Lindor. Ooh, yeah, I wanted that. Ooh, I wanted that. I'd be mad if that was me and didn't get the call. Alright, managed to get back to a 2 and 2 count, Strike. even though that one pitch was kind of a strike. One down, base is empty. And it's ball yeah, the way still walk. Low. Got the Boom. patience you today. Walk in the bigs if we gave you enough Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Full. False scouting report to forget a walk. Ooh. Center field. Drat. Crow Armstrong should have it. Puts it away. Mm, drat. Oh well. I think I don't think it'd be too hard to get a walk in the MLB. All now you have to do is right like fielder. just absolutely Go gorilla here. swing. And eventually they would just like yeah. all right, so can't put it down the middle in case, case he hits it. He's over one. No, all you gotta do is just sit up there and like not swing. But, like, don't make it obvious you're just not swinging because then they'll figure it out. So just gorilla swing a few times if they're right down the middle and then they might be like, oh, well, we don't want to risk a home run. Got to be careful. And then there you go. But eventually you have to. Swing Ooh. and a miss. And he got him to chase. Let's try stolen base. Why not? Snap throw to first. Ooh, good, good, good. He said had the timing, safety. right? Mongel. Lindor the move. Ooh. And a swing nope. and a miss. And that's that. Mets leave one, but they're on top by a count of back here in Queens. Here's a big power throw. That wasn't Gary a good bat. What's his power numbers looking like? 81, 84? Yeah, it's good for a catcher, but. Eh. Gary. Puck back to work. And that's in for a strike. In today's game, you look at exit velocity as a measure of process. And if guys are hitting the ball hard, High eventually the on. results usually follow. Okay. Gary Sanchez, he is a guy that hits the ball hard. Corrals it. One down. Right. I like how it came in at 96 and went off at 96. That's it. Great speed and Nothing great was power, lost, I guess. A great athlete, quite simply. Nor gained. And that one fouled off. Yeah, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Uh, what? Did they just compare this guy to Mike Trout? They just compared this guy to Mike Trout? He has a better arm, worse fielding, and eh, almost the average speed that Mike Trout's had the last few years. If you're going to compare this guy to Mike Trout, comparing him to Mike Trout, okay. No. Glad he can throw a football and swing a golf club, I guess, but he ain't no Mike Trout. I know he was saying as far as athletes, but... Uh, this is a baseball game, he still compared him. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Fastball for a strength. Nice play. He's been going after these guys consistently. And as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very All right. well right now. The two Come on, one. same place. Nope. Okay. He's opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Makes the catch in and over. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. You guys are all looking at Ready to go for the last half of the inning. All right, Cabrian Hayes. Brian Hayes. I keep saying the Cabrian. Is it Key Brian? Swings through the fastball. Is it Key Brian or say Cabrian? Should I say Cabrian? Key Brian. If you're not looking up at that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. I don't know what I'm looking at. Ooh. Hard hit left side. Drat. Swanson fires oh. on the first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. 
Now batting, catcher, Francisco Alvarez. And now the catcher comes up to him, Francisco Alvarez. He hit into right, a double Francisco play Alvarez. his first time up. Our first hit of the year. Yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Nope. One and out. They no, trying to get nope, him to chase nope, 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 him a slider down and away. Two count, great hitter at the dish. If you're gonna miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Oh. And the slider nope. just misses. You know what's funny? Kind of the goofy part is like players like Jerry Gallo where they have like no contact. It's only power, so you really only want to swing this like in the middle of the zone. Is like the guy I swing out of the zone the most. Which is kind of weird. I think it'd be the exact opposite. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Walk number three. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Here's Andre Jimenez, one for two. Come on, Andres Jimenez. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, really late. Alvarez, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And oh. this one bounces Ooh, run, away run, from run. Sanchez. There we go. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Really good read by the Speed runner there. Demon. His secondary lead, he anticipates the trajectory going down and gets a really nice jump up to second base. Now he's in scoring position. And he's taking away the double play opportunity. That was a piss poor block too, by the way. It hit his thigh. Where was it? Yeah. That was a. He's blocking it in the middle of the zone, and it's bouncing off. It didn't bounce off his thigh. It bounced off the umpire's kneecap. Where is he blocking for? <laughs> Poor, yeah, great. Now the umpire's got a broken kneecap because he's blocking the middle of the plate when it's in the batter's box. That one fouled off. As a previous catcher myself, that was piss poor. Popped in the air. Like this, I keep I keep being late for these swings. It's bad. I'm sure that's just the animation they use. Well, no, it's not, because I've seen the catcher animate blocking in a different direction. So, yeah, that was just straight up bad. Ooh, come on, land. You. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Okay. And welcome back to the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half right, of inning Horner. number six. Here's the second baseman, Nico Horner. First offering, and it just misses. He's a master at hitting fastballs. You need to be careful with location if you're going to throw him. All right, slur of Vincent's on missing with the fastball. And that's just foul. Closer. The other way, and it stays of there. I like how in the previous play right when it was two. right, uh, Kate, uh, second, red, when it was right there and it showed Cabrian Hayes like running backwards to get it. Why would he do that? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, that's, you know, where he would be able to get the ball at. If he can only get the ball, ball that far, then it, that would be um, Brandon Nimmo's ball to get. That wouldn't be his. That's kind of weird. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, here's a good opportunity oh, well. in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And Nine, he must be getting tired. High fastball, high fastball, out of the zone. So high fastball in the zone, that's good. Right, right down the middle. Strike out on a pitch right down the middle. That yeah, was a mistake. A I'm going to bad inside. I don't care. Yeah, okay, I need to be better locating my pitches. Getting tired, huh? Alright, that not, was right down the middle, too. Literally right down the middle, okay. To get the barrel on it. Yes. 
And there's a break there that drops go. in there. Winner in second here, one goal. Come on. And down oh, goes Tracy yeah, Mills. Baby. That's right. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boogie, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff okay. double, as you mentioned. And just got to execute your right, pitches. Right, and it's an on issue. Again. Just missed. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. Low His command has been ball. a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses. foul ball. ball. That would have been a home run if it was there. Outside, low slitter. And another ball. Ooh, ooh, ooh. High inside fastball. Keeps the going with the foul ball. Two outs. Ooh, oh, and that's to barely going to get past him. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it? Oh, that's barely going to nip past him. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it? All right. Oh, the ball's getting past 99 fielding. I know that was far away and he couldn't reach it, but dang, a little more vacuum over there. So two down, and next for the Cubs, no, it's not a bad pitch either. That one finds the oh yeah, I'm with so, that. Strike. What are your stats, dude? Dang. All, all on the defensive side, huh? Why is he fifth, though? That don't make no sense. Why is he fifth? Doesn't seem like a good enough hitter for fifth, but okay. With the tying run at the plate, and we're the top half ooh, of the sixth. Ooh, 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 Way ooh, inside ooh. gets out of the way. Out of energy. Swings through that one. One and two. Mm -hmm. Next offering is downstairs. Oh my gosh. Now this is in the air down the Come on, line. Nimmo, make Nimmo that. Ranging after it. And he can't make the play. Oh, Nemo. Touched your glove. Went through your glove. Oh, Nemo, Nemo, Nemo. Incredible offense. Not doing too well defensively. Come on, have a fastball. Strike him out. Well struck right field. Ooh. Gallo ranging back. To the right huh. track. Well, kind of got a lucky run, but that's all right. It's Major League Still got the lead. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Mark Leiter Jr. This is his third time out this year. All right, Mark Leiter. Lighter, whatever. All right. Come on, Yandy Diaz. Swing and a miss. Strike one. All right. Ooh, there we go. Are you kidding me? That was late, but still, that, yeah, that 94 exit velocity, that really seems that was good to hit. Okay, and I just skipped his home run sequence, didn't I? Of course. And first offering is fouled off. All right. Swings through that All right. Out in front that time. This guy clearly likes a splitter. Trevor Richards getting ready to go. Almonte warming up as well. Mm, the there the we go. And that's going to be caught in. Okay, down. good, good. It was a bit late of a good, good, but still. Alright. Come on, Lindor. Alright, cutter outside corner. 
Here in the that was a good six. pitch. Feel like that should have been up the middle, but okay. Gets him to chase Ooh. after that one. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe right. down in the one ball. He's great. Not one, seeing two. a splitter the best. Good job Ooh. to fight that one off. That was a good place to pitch, too. And delivers outside. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where pitchers would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches. <laughs> and that should be extra bases. There Around we first, go. Good job, Lindor. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. I thought for sure that was only going to be a single. It turns out it was a double. Right there. Intentional walk here with two gonna walk they set up a force cowards. and they in the inning. Boo, cowards. And next for the Mets, Joey Gallo. Hey, come on, Joey Gallo. I would love a home run. Love a home run right here. Make him pay. Probably not going to get it, but hey, I can try. And I'm going to swing it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was good timing, though. Thank you, Matt Drummond. Two on, two outs. And he swings over yeah, the top Okay, there. I don't know why that splitter is so devastating on Gallo. I don't understand why I keep trying to swing with Gallo on every pitch. Next pitch is nope. outside. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Come on, Gallo. Kicks and deals. Oh my god, why am I seeing that so poorly? Why am I swinging with Gallo so poorly and seeing that pitch so poorly? Oh my god, where was that? That was early, wasn't it? Of course. Top of inning number seven. So up now for Chicago, Dansby Swanson. Oh crap, I forgot to get in a bullpen. Um, Peter Fairbanks and Scott Barlow give him some time to warm up. And a pitch on the ground oh. to the left, and it goes just foul. Well, he's there back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you, Chris? Yeah, a little oh, bit. It was a little rough the sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence mm -hmm. in him. But mm -hmm. trust me. And of course, okay. Joe Gallows appears to be running at the speed of a tortoise. You know, I know he was a big guy, but that animation was really slow. Ah, that was a beautiful pitch, too. Oh. Mm, try sinkers. How do you sinkers? Next offering in there for a strike. And a count one and one. On the ground, right side. Down the line, and it's foul. High sinker. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. In high sinker. And you're going to hit far out like that. Nimmo pulls it in on the run. And he makes it up to third right. with one away. Now the third baseman, now Christopher Morell. All right. And the first All right. pitch misses. Mike Trout one of these up, apparently. Uh, let's go change up. And that's outside. And it's going to be way out of the zone. The Mets holding on to a two-run lead. Here the Can top half walk of him and then... And a foul ball. I think so. two and one. Ooh, oh, he okay. Him. And I'm going to hit him instead, flush. apparently. Well, the worst part on that one is he lost control against one of the fastest guys on the team. This might turn into okay. a Okay. Drat. Oh, perfect what I needed. Okay, I did not hit him on purpose, but I'm glad I did in hindsight. Inning over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed to the 
And I was like, oh crud, I totally forgot to put someone in. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. That probably ain't yeah. He's making his second appearance I, I, well, of the no. season. I was going to say that might start a fight like, oh, it would be really nice if we could get a double play, so I'm just going to hit the guy. That might look pretty bad, but then again, it was like one ball, one strike, so. The pitch. And there's a strike. This guy oh, plays a the base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays oh. look very easy. Oh. And that one that is one. in the dirt. And that is ball one. Ooh, that one was touching his own. So Might have been called a ball, but that was for that make too close. A really good defensive third baseman, that elite. Well, Boog, one of the things I think about... Ooh, double. Nope, single. Is he able to quickly nice react? Right. And when you have I'll take feet, it. You've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. Oh, yeah, by the way, just... I'm just going to put this guy in. Schedule him. Man at first. And here's the catcher, Francisco right. Alvarez. Come on, Francisco Alvarez. Swings through that one for strike one. And as well, nope. lots of pop in that bet. So you combine the slug with really good defense. Ooh, are you kidding me? That is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes are you kidding me? Back to the top of the Mets order. Here's the Mets hey. leadoff man. Apparently bashing three. that looks pretty damn close to perfect to me, but of course. And the pitch. Swinging a foul back. Right. That's out of play. Hayes leads off first with one away. Mm, that, was that was good. That was a good slider. Come on, Lane Thomas. Nope. Piss. Yes, wait. Two outs. Ooh, slider. Ooh. What is that? Is that out? That is out. Ooh. And they add on. It's 5-1. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Alright. I like that. And a boy Lane Thomas. Didn't, didn't, didn't hit a home run with the lefty that he, you know, he dominates left. His stats say he dominates left. He didn't get the home run on the lefty. But they don't the righty, but I ain't going to complain. I thought that was going to be a pop-up. Maybe not a pop-up, but I thought that was going to be a fly-out because it was just really high. I didn't think it was going to be that far. All right, good, good. It wasn't a hit, Drat. Next nope. pitch is outside. Oh, I don't know why sitting I was on sitting on fastball right there, there for some reason. Out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Right. Oh, that's a strikeout. Nope. And that'll right. do it for the inning. Mets had two runs on this blast. It's now 5-1. Boosh. Nice. Welcome um, yes, I do. Hello, Scott Barlow. This is his first appearance Barlow. of the season. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Now it's the second baseman, Nico Horner. 
one. Why to kick the pitch? Slider. That one finds the zone. Yippers. That's strike one. Another slider. Swing and a miss. Yippers. Let's go on an outside slider this time. Nope. Nope. How about an inside slider? And I'm going to hit him. That didn't look. That didn't look like I missed that bad. Okay. That's what I was trying to do. And it's boy. Give it to me. Working fastball high. Yeah. Yeah. 96. You gotta do the grunt. When you really need a fastball strikeout, you have to grunt. Because everyone knows if you grunt in real life, you pitch harder in the game. Just a fact. Oh, what did slow slurve do? Oh. Fastball. We're at the top of the eighth. Popped foul out of play off to the right. Mm, now this team is definitely looking fastball? for a big swing of the bat no. right here. Try no, to close that no, gap. No, but, you know, at the very please. least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels mm. like it's really Beautiful pitch. Beautiful. Out. Slider. Yes. Exactly where I wanted it. But didn't get the out. Can I try this again? The two -two on the way. Okay, I can go right down there. Come on, Lindor. Off balance feed. There's one. Oh, 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 boy. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Again, kind of wish Lindor had a better arm, might have gotten him, but again, I can't really complain because that was really difficult. Yep, definitely got him. Okay, he was definitely safe this time. Yeah, yeah, he was absolutely safe. Try slow curve. Yeah, slow. Mm, Two outs. Faster slider. Oh, downstairs. One and one. Mm, another slider. And he's going to crush that all the way to Lane Thomas. There we go. Should I have him close it out? They're down here. Five mm. to one. Back now. New pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Hector Hello, Neris. Hector. Hello, Hector Neris. Now it's the Let's see. Chapman used him. Felix Bautista really good. I got my three elite guys and my three average guys, so I'm going to keep them in. Might as well. Come on, Soler. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Now and now All it's right, Frankie Lindor. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Drat. Early on a fastball, strange. It's not like this fastball is way slower than the other and fastball. Ooh, nope. Next offering misses, and a count one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Marlon Door gave me a lefty homer. You know I don't really and need it. Deals. Ooh, there we go, right down the middle. Good, good. Right down the middle, right back up the middle, I mean. New York, Brandon Nimmo. All right, Brandon Nimmo. You're the home run against the righties. First pitch doesn't find the zone. You're the righty slayer. Lindor, the base runner at first with one out. Ooh, oh, that's going to be out of it. I'm going to run anyway. Nope. Nope, that, is, that was a home run. Dang, yeah, I thought that was going to be out too. 
Man, every time I think they bash the ball, it's going to be a nice, a double or a home run. It never is. It's either an out every time. But then I'm like, oh, that didn't make it. And then it made it. Lane Thomas, two-run home run. Didn't think he'd make it. It was. Brandon Nimmo just now. Didn't think he'd make it. It did. Isn't mean, that strange? second he brought it back out there too he gave it a great effort but you know those plays are so tough to pull off and i'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it one out base is empty joey well, gallo up now for the mess good dude's a home run just like it should be come on joey gallo a swing and, and i'm gonna and do that strike one go ball one two oh, no, i'm not thinking in the inning. five the minutes and 50 inning. seconds i should probably just hurry up just to be safe Strike two. No ball. Two straight. Just nope. off the outside corner. Going to count one and two. Oh, ho, ho, ho. where was that? Just lay, of course. One down, base is empty. And down nope. on strikes. Now two out. Third time he struck right. out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus All on right, I kind of need to hurry up and get out because I'm kind of getting that W. I meant like 56 minutes and 50 seconds now. I kind of need to hurry up and get out. Game one of this three game set. Come on. Good, kind of hoping that was ground out. Good, good. Didn't even make contact. Okay. Not that I wanted to get a hit. I kind of wanted to get out. There we go. Get me out. Ooh, good, good again. At least my timing's been on fire. Crack. All right. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now here is Pete Crow Armstrong. That's the ball. Wouldn't chase Come that on, time. Hurry up in the zone. Play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack Ooh. hitters, even if you one give ball. up a solo shot. Fastball, fastball. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come on, Nemo, you can make it. Nemo running hard get out this time. Can't of course you're not. One lands foul. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you for not hitting 15 foul balls like these douchebags tend to like to do at the end of at the end of the game when I'm like trying to hurry. They all like to get get the patience of the gods all of a sudden and they like to foul 47 pitches off and take forever. So thank you for actually, you know, hitting normal. All sliders so far in this at bat to get Come on, fastball. Count and clearly shows there was a game. Oh, that's, that's touching, that's touching. Give me that call, that's One touching. Base is empty. Still two okay, two don't need those fouls, foul please. Ball. Don't need those fouls. I'd like to hurry up so Ready I don't waste this time. There's a swing and and a you're going to need that. Come on, Thomas, get over there. Two. Get over there. I know you're not. Are Next you kidding me? Okay, so skip that because I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. I do not have time for that. I'm not going to be able to go against the instant replays because thank you. Come on, let's go, guys. Come on, that's a long slurve. Come on, baby. Please don't get hit. I really need you not to. Yes. Thank you. Oh, thank God he didn't do a double because then I would have been out of time to get that. 59-20. All right. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, anyway, like I said, if you're wondering, that's why I like to get... I try and get thrown out at the base. More entertaining, and I don't run out of time like I do a lot. Very tight for time, and I usually try and swing because the faster I get out, the faster I can, you know, make sure I'm in time. I like to try and make these 55 minutes, between 55 and 59 minutes, while being able to show all the replays, but unfortunately I just can't. So thank you for watching this episode, and see you in the next. 
Bye.